So look, NBA 2K has been out for a few weeks now. And you know, regardless of when you started playing 2K, if you've been playing 2K every year, or you're just coming back like myself, I think we can all agree that this has really been a great 2K so far. I mean, it's, it's really revitalized the community. We have a lot of old faces coming back. A lot of new content creators are emerging. But man, we gotta we, we gotta address the elephant in the room. And honestly, it's not shooting. If you're one of those people thinking, oh, here's about to be another guy complaining about shooting. No, it's I'm not complaining about shooting. I think shooting is in a really, really good place. If anything, I think it's the closest it is to realistic as they can get. Because honestly, if you really are a hooper or you really know basketball, you should be able to time your jump shot. You need to time your jump shot if you wanted to go in the hoop. I don't know anybody that can mess up their jump shot in real life and it can still go in. You know, I mean, maybe every now and then. So I'm not complaining about the shooting. It's right. If it's not green, it should not go in. But I will complain about slashing. I'm going to complain about slashing, y'all. I, I, look, 6'9", bills are not the problem, y'all. This is no different than 2K16, 2K17. Everybody's making demigod bills, that bills that can do everything. That's not the problem. Defense isn't necessarily the problem. But slashing is 100% a problem. Now, the game I'm showing you guys on the screen is a perfect example of what's wrong with this game. People aren't shooting. People are not shooting. People are rim running. And it's because shooting feels so weird sometimes depending on the mode you're in. Like, I don't know if any of you guys have played Ruffles, but Ruffles was terrible. It was laggy. It felt slow. It felt weirder than Wreck. Yes, Wreck feels different from Park and Park feels different from Ruffles. So I get it. Some people just don't even want to risk selling a possession trying to shoot a three when honestly 80, 90% of the time you can get away with rim running. Honestly, two possessions, if you can go two straight possessions by scoring two points and keep your opponent from scoring, you damn dare might as well be up eight if the other team can't shoot at all because rim running is just that dominant. And so since people can't necessarily stop the rim running, they're making six, nine bills or locks or defensive anchors because 2K is letting 20s, 30s, 40 percents hit the rim. And I can't blame them. I really can't blame them because honestly, these people are working for these badges. If you have Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, you should be able to lay up on a 7-3 center. You should be able to dunk on a 6-11 guy. So I'm not necessarily mad at that. But where the problem comes in is it's a little bit harder for every build to get defensive badges to counteract these slashing badges. Most of us can only get anchor on bronze. Most of us can only get chase down artists on silver. And so you're telling us to compete with these slashers who have Hall of Fame badges when most of us can only get silver defensive badges. So I think what we really need from NBA 2K right now is for them to buff interior defense for players that actually have it. Because again, I want to be fair. I don't want to be that guy that's complaining when people have only a 25% or 25 attribute interior defense. No, if you have a 25 interior defense, you deserve everything that's coming to you. But for me, who has an 81, somewhere around an 85 interior defense, if I put my hands up with a bronze anchor, I should be able more times than not be able to stop somebody from freaking laying me. You see what I'm saying? Somebody from dunking on my whole existence. And right now, I just feel like 2K is in a weird spot where they absolutely have a great game on their hands, but I think that they just are a little bit afraid to tweak some things that I think we all realize need to be tweaked. But for the record, I wanna say for the record, I would much rather have a slashing meta than a small guard left-right meta. You know what I'm saying? I think if you really think about it, I would much rather deal with people just slashing for twos all day and then left writing for threes all day because at the end of the day it's hard to compete with with a shootout let's just be honest it's really hard to compete with a shootout you can get stops when people that just want to slash because every now and then you're going to get a funky animation you're going to get a bad layup attempt you're going to get something preventing you from getting the animation that you necessarily want but at any rate i still just want to know what you guys think now again this isn't my best game to showcase to you guys of what i've been doing out here in the park because again 
I'm, my friends have more slash and they have higher slash than me. This is my first build. So mind you guys, I have not went back in the lab and created a quote unquote meta build. My 6'9 face up four is the build I created from the jump. This is the build I came out the rapper with. I only have one other build, which is my rebirth build, which is a center build for when I was chasing that wreck rat uh quest so if you any if you're anybody in the comment section thinking oh you're just another six nine guy no i'm not but what i want is for you guys to comment down below and let me know what you guys think i really want to see how you guys feel about this meta do you feel like slashing needs to be nerfed or you think interior defense needs to be buff and i will see you guys in the next video